using Digo. We will follow two sets of directions on using Digo. First, we will look at bookmarking a resource without using the Digo toolbar. Second, we will look, to, uh, look at how to install the Digo toolbar, which makes for very quick bookmarking. Let's start with bookmarking a resource without the toolbar. Log in or sign in to your account. Enter your username and password. Click on My Library. Scroll down to the bottom of the page and locate the Add a Bookmark widget at the bottom right. Paste the URL of the site you want to bookmark in the widget and click Add. You will be redirected to a new page and given the option of entering or editing the details about the web page. The URL and the title of the web page should appear automatically, but it can be revised if you desire. You can add a description about the site, and you can type descriptive tags for any of the sites uh, or use the tags that have been recommended. At this point, if you were sharing with a group, um, you would then need to add that to your group to share it with the group. Otherwise, you want to add a new bookmark. If you want to keep this web source private to yourself and not share it with the group, you would want to select private. But since I want to share it, we'll select that and click Add New book Bookmark. In about three seconds, you will be redirected back to your library and you will see your brand new bookmark. Installing the Digo Toolbar Go to www.digo.com tools and install the Digo Toolbar on your computer. Once you have installed it, restart your browser. To make sure that the bookmark toolbar will be available to you. Check under View, Toolbars, and make sure that the Digo toolbar is checked. The Digo toolbar provides you with many options, such as creating a, a sidebar that would show you your library, or showing you how many people have bookmarked this page. We can use this link to actually bookmark a, bookmark a website that you're visiting. If I wanted to bookmark this site, I would click on Bookmark, and a new Digo dialog box would pop up, giving me the option of entering or editing details about a web page. The URL and the title of the web page should appear automatically and can be revised if desired. A description about the site can be added, and tags for the site, using any number of tags is fine, can be added. I'm going to use some of the recommended tabs, tags. When you have a class site, you'll want to make sure to share it with a group. Click Share with a Group and select the group that you want to send it to. Finally, click Save. Go back to your library, and there's your new bookmark. Thanks for watching.